All right, so I'm going to show you how to make a taskbar button for the Raspbian operating system. And I think this works on, this will work on Stretch and also work on um, the prior one, the uh, Pixel. I do not know if it will work on Buster. But it's very simple, and this is stemming from a post I made back in April of uh, 2018 uh, where I made taskbar buttons for my uh a Raspberry Pi camera and where because I have a touch screen on it and I wanted to make it easier to operate on the touch screen when I'm not going to show any of that I'm just going to show you how to make the button and go from there and maybe that you can uh, apply it to whatever you should want to apply it to but um, okay so let's go to I'm gonna go to here's my post on YouTube I'm, I'm remaking this because people complain that they had a hard time seeing it because I'm using I'm using the phone camera to record it and I'm not on a uh, tripod and so it's a little shaky so I'm using a screen recorder now and I'm using VNC and porting it over to my computer screen uh, to my laptop so I, so it's a little easier to uh, and a little easier to record and maybe less messed up but that don't mean it's gonna be perfect so <laughs> So on that note, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make it in the applications folder so that it'll end up in your uh, your uh, start menu, okay? See, like here's the shutdown button I made before. Uh, and so I'm going to make a reboot button. So let's get into that. You can make, you can open the, uh, you have to use the text editor to, to make a, a, the button uh, to, uh, to work. But you can uh, you can make it with the text editor on the desktop, but to make it to where it ends up in the uh, file list here, to put it in the taskbar, uh, you have to do it under uh, the terminal. So I'll show you how to do that. First, we're gonna um, let me back up here a little bit. What I did is I found me a button that I want to represent my restart button on Google. And then I just save that, and then I use VNC to transfer the file over to the Pi. So I have done that here. Here's my folder, and here's my icon. And it's just a green button, and a little green button. It's just a small one. So we close that. All right. And then uh, we're going to uh, use the nano editor to edit to create the, uh, the button path and the code. So... Let's do that sudo nano and like I said we have to put it in the applications so if you don't know the path you can go to the folder and down here where it has U, uh, USR user I'm su assuming and then share and then application folders in there alright so we want to copy that path here copy and then we're going to paste that. Okay, we need some space in there. I got. And then we're going to create the file by doing backslash and then reboot what the name of it is. And then you must do dot desktop for it to work. It's, okay, so we hit enter and it'll open a blank text file. There we go. So now I'm going to go back over to my original post and see this uh, here. We're going to copy that text. Now you can freehand this if you want. This is available. You can search for how to make a desktop uh, entry. There's different versions of the code and everything that I'm making. Um, this is my version that I made. Okay, so we got that. Now we're going to need to edit it to fit what we want it to do. And we're going to name it, of course, Reboot. You could rename it whatever you want. But for my application, what I'm doing it for, I would do that. Okay, so I don't really need to change my application, which does this. It's a, it's a comment. When you open the, the if you click on, um, right click on it, and you go to Properties, it'll have some stuff in there. Okay, so now we need to make the path for our icon. So the icon will show up. It's already PNG, so we don't need to change that. But we need the, the path to the icon be correct. So we need to slash home 
Oop, him. Hum. Like I said, I'm not great at this. And then pi is where that's stored. And then get rid of this. And then we put what I named it, of course, was reboot. Okay, so we got that. Now we need the script. This is what we the uh, execute the script here. We need the script to run it. Now, you, if you used the terminal before, you know to reboot it through the, the terminal. Uh, terminal is sudo reboot. Uh, reboot. I can't speak, but whatever. So we'll put this in there. Sudo reboot. Okay. Now we have that. Okay. Now the rest of this. We're just going to leave it as is. It's already in the applications file. I don't know how all this other stuff works. I just know it does, okay? So to save it, we need to do Control X. Okay, it says save, modified buffer. Uh, if you answer no, we'll just go back. Okay, so you want yes. And then uh, you push Enter, and now you have a file in there that will show up in here. And let's find it. There we go. There's our button. So if we click on that, It'll re reboot. I'm not going to show that just yet because we're going to put it on the taskbar first. Okay, close it. And now, because we put it in the applications where our start menu stuff is at, you'll find it in the start menu under other. See there? Okay, so like I said, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to put it down here in taskbar. Now on the stretch and the pixel and I think one other one, you can. It, you this is the way it works. You can right click on the desktop. Now if you notice mine's different. That's because most people are at, is at the top. Well, I'll put mine on the bottom. If you right click it and go to um, the panel settings, you'll be able to find that where you can change all that. So just a little deal here. But we're going to go from the bottom. And we're going to go to um, add and remove panel items. And then the, what you're looking for is application launch bar. You click on that and then preferences. And then over here, you'll find the applications that are installed. And you can go to Other, and then see the reboot right here, and then just add it. And there we go. And I don't know what that is. But you can also move it. If you don't want it there, you can you can go up or down. And I think on Buster, you actually, there's, it'll add a little plus mark here, and then you add it, and then you can move it down. So anyway, just a little my experience with Buster so far. And then you close that and then close this. Now when I click on that it should reboot my pot. And so it's doing that right now. So I'm gonna probably stop the video and then go back and bring it back up. Uh, okay now you can see oh, of course I've got two buttons and I'll have to remove one of those but because I did it before. But as you can see, it brought my uh, I rebooted. So there you go. That's how it works. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, post them below. If you have any other things you would like to see, I don't know that much about it. I'm just a copy and paste guy myself. But uh, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. If you would like to, you could subscribe. The more people that like the video, the more I'm going to be willing to try to do some more, I guess I could say. But anyway, thanks for watching.